Hello everyone, my name is Miss Ashley from Fibo Kids Art Academy and for today's process art picture we're going to be creating an image using shaving cream and food dye. So we'll go ahead and get started with our picture. Now in all actuality it's not really quite a picture because we're not doing this on canvas or um, paper. We're actually going to be getting a lid to um, either Tupperware or maybe some sort of container. Uh, this is a storage bin lid that I had here in the studio and what you're going to do is you're going to get shaving cream and you're going to just spread that shaving cream onto your lid. And as you can see, I had added some previously. And when you are done adding that shaving cream, you just spread that shaving cream around. You can have it kind of thick or thin, just really make sure you spread it around. All right, so here is our blank canvas. Now doing this next part, you can either just use your hands if you want to, um, to mix the colors, or you can use a paintbrush or a spoon. But I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off this extra shaving cream that I have. So I have my big brush. I also have smaller brushes right here. But again, you don't have to use a paintbrush. You can use your hands, you can use a spoon, chopsticks, and that's up to you. You are going to need some food dye though, and the kind that I have is this kind. You want to make sure it's the liquid kind. That's easily, um, that you can easily drop onto your shaving cream. Now this is a really great um, project to do with kids to teach them primary colors and um, secondary colors because you can show them that mixing certain colors will create a secondary color. So red and blue would make purple. I'm just going to add some red and blue right here. And we can mix that together to create purple. Now blue is really strong, so it might not come out as purple as you would like. It does look a little bit more gray. But this way you can show them different ways to mix colors. We also have red and yellow to make orange. The yellow does look a little bit more on the orange side though. We also have this. I'm just gonna plop that right there. This is supposed to be yellow, but definitely looks a little bit more orange. So I'll just mix those together to create that orange. And we also have our blue and yellow to make green. Again, food dye is a little bit tricky, especially because the purple definitely looks more um, gray than anything else. Either way, your kids will be totally fascinated to see that you can mix colors on a shaving cream. And there we create that nice green. All right. So you can teach them different coloring um, like methods of mixing colors, but you can also just have them have fun by plopping dots onto the um, canvas, which is just our shaving cream. So I'm just going to add some dots here and there. And they can do this um, themselves. Just a um, word of caution though, make sure they are very gentle as they add those dots. But you can add the drips of paint onto, or excuse me, the drips of food dye onto the shaving cream. All right, I'm going to just add some orange down here. It's supposed to be yellow. The lid is yellow, but it looks more orange than anything else. But I'm just adding some random dots here and there. And 
it's very random. I'm not doing anything specific. I'm just um, adding those dots. All right, I added some dots here. All right, what you're gonna do is once you're done adding those dots, you can either have, um, use your hands or you can use a paintbrush or a spoon. I'm just gonna go for this medium brush and I'm just going to swirl color. You could add more dots if you want to. You don't have to add as much as I did. <laughs> you can add more or less. But this way we're just swirling and seeing what we come up with by swirling into our shaving cream. Again, there's no right or wrong to how we create our shaving cream picture. You can just blend those out here. And swirl that over. If you want to add more drops of food dye, you can. But I love just to swirl this around and see what I come up with. You can do big swirls. Do little swirls, mix back up here. But it's so much fun to see what we can come up with as we swirl. It's got a nice little rainbow happening here. But it's lots of fun. Also, it's very easy to clean up because we have it on the um, container instead of on the table. I can always go back and add a little bit more food dye if I'd like to. Oops, drop that right in there. <laughs> That's okay though. Maybe I'll just add a little bit more red here, and red here. I can add some more yellow as well. Now it started to look a little bit more yellow as I added it to the white shaving cream. And we'll add some blue. We'll add more down here too. And then I've got my big brush and swirl. You don't have to swirl in circular motions. You can just um, freely let your brush just run on top of that shaving cream. There's no right or wrong to how we create our image on shaving cream. And the best part about this is, is that you can just easily wash it off and you can do this again to create a different image. And if you really like what you came up with, don't forget to take a picture of it on your phone. So that way you can always remember this fun, messy experience and how to um, create a shaving cream and color or food dye um, picture. But I hope you really enjoyed how to create this image using shaving cream and food dye. We'd love to see what you came up with. So please post your pictures on our Fibo Village page on Facebook. Uh, you can also message us on Instagram or even just comment below on this video how um, you enjoyed this. So um, and hopefully we'll see you again at Fibo Kids Art Academy. Hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you next time. Bye.